It is believed to go back 800 years, the institution of the sink ports. In traditional garb, the barons of the ports went in procession from Dover Castle, preparatory to installing as Lord Warden and Admiral of the sink ports, Sir Robert Menzies. This honoured statesman formally received the key of the castle in accordance with traditional ceremony. Meanwhile, a detachment of the Royal Marines marched to Dover College. In the college close, the Grand Court of Shepway awaited Sir Robert. This eminent Australian was appointed Lord Warden soon after the death of perhaps the greatest of all holders of this office, Sir Winston Churchill. This was Sir Robert's first opportunity to be installed. The Archbishop of Canterbury had preached at an earlier dedication service. Originally, the function of the sink ports was to provide the king with ships to defend the coast from the Wash to Spithead. The five were Hastings, Romney, Hythe, Dover and Sandwich. Field Marshal Slim saw the new Lord Warden and Admiral of the Ports undertake the first duty of his office. Many present remembered the installation 20 years ago of Sir Winston Churchill. No easy man to follow in any capacity. And how Winston entered into the spirit of it. Sir Robert Menzies touches nothing that he does not adorn. In his hands, the dignity of the historic sinecure is in safekeeping. keeping.